All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have a Houston Rocket video on Houston Rocket Daily. Um, I posted my recap video. I promised you guys a video earlier today, so I wanted to give it probably going to be a very short one because I really only want to talk about Garrison Matthews. Um, I uploaded my recap on Will Upton, so if for some reason you're not subscribed, you're subscribed to this channel but not Will Upton, go check out the recap on Will Upton. I'm going to start doing recaps all the time on this channel, but I was really, really feeling that win. So I have this tweet here. It's from Clutch Fans, um, who I'm sure if you guys are a longtime supporter of us, of me, you know, we've, I've had some issues in the past with Clutch Fans, but here's the tweet. Um, During the three-game winning streak, Garrison Matthews, who is on a two-way contract, has played almost 33 minutes a night, scoring 17 points on an incredibly efficient 57% from the field and 50% from downtown. So, um, you know, this is something that we've been saying. Like, we've all been saying this because Garrison, obviously, he's on a two-way contract. Um, he started the season with the Rockets really, really cold. He was playing really good defense. He was getting rebounds. He was making the passes. He was he was doing everything, like literally everything, except making his shots. And been preaching it probably for the last week or so. Like just wait. And it's the same thing with Armani Brooks. Like right now, Armani Brooks is ice cold. He is ice cold, or he's just extremely streaky. But he, for the most part, Armani Brooks is ice cold. I guarantee you. Two weeks from now, Armani Brooks. We're all gonna be like, oh my goodness. I'm so glad we have Armani Brooks. He is so good at shooting the basketball. That's how it is with Garrison Matthews. But the thing with Garrison is, first off, he's actually been in the league for a couple of years. I, I wanted the Chicago Bulls to pick this guy up. In fact, I just read an article. I can't tell you. I, I couldn't tell you what um, website it was. But I actually just read an article that was saying it was like a couple of free agents that the Bulls missed out on. And Garrison Matthews was a player in this past offseason that I was like, you know what? When he went to the Rockets, I was like, you know what? The Bulls really could have used this kid. He had that one game. I can't remember who they played. Washington. He was on Washington last year. Dropped like 22 points. Uh, kind of put his name on the map. But like, he's been in the league for a couple of years. And he knows what he's doing. Like just the eye test visually. He is so useful for this team. I've actually seen some people comment that they want Jalen Green to go to the bench and Garrison Matthews to start. I'm actually 100% on board with that. If you guys remember, all offseason, I was anticipating Jalen Green to come off the bench for the first 25, 30, 40, 40 or so games for the Houston Rockets until all the old guys were dished out. Here's the thing. The Rockets are like 3-1 when Daniel Tice plays less than 20 minutes. The Rockets, need, or maybe it's DMPs, I think the Rockets have a Daniel Tice problem. I don't think they have a Jalen Green problem. Uh, it sucks because I want to see Garrison Matthews, like, I want to see Garrison Matthews continue this hot streak right now. The only thing is, is what if he, you put Jalen Green on the bench, you play 10 games with Garrison Matthews and it just isn't working. Then you got to go back to Jalen Green and it's like, feel like you're just kind of working backwards. Might as well go through the growing pains with Jalen Green in the starting lineup right now. Because if you actually anticipate KPJ and Jalen Green being that one-two backcourt duo for the long-term future, they need to be able to play with each other. So if they're having issues right now, if Jalen Green's having issues right now, I'd rather just have them take this year to figure that out, to just get comfortable playing with each other than messing up just all the chemistry or any possible chemistry, any possible potential even between those two guys. So, you know, it's it's tricky right now. I don't know when Jalen Green will come back. I imagine he's going to be back. Uh, I think they said he's only going to be out for a week. So what is that, the end of the week here? I think it's more of a wait and see right now with Garrison Matthews. I'm going to continue to root for him, you know, throughout the whole duration of the season for all throughout his whole career. I wish him best of luck, but I think for right now, you stick with Garrison Matthews in the starting lineup. When Jalen Green comes back, um, man, <laughs> you got to start Jalen Green. You got to start Jalen Green. I don't think you can constitute Garrison Matthews starting over Jalen Green unless, here's the big thing, unless the Rockets 
have not lost with Garrison Matthews in the starting lineup. The Rockets continue this win streak. They're on a three-game win streak. I don't care like if they lose a close one. If they don't lose a game with this starting lineup, we have a different conversation. But for right now, I, I just think that Garrison Moore is um, a bench player, a reserve player who you can give him 25 minutes a night to come off the bench. He's averaging 33 right now, but you need to at least give Garrison 22, 23 because he is a big body. He's kind of like that small forward. He's a guard, but he can play that small forward role. He can play, he can guard a couple of different positions. So I think Garrison Matthews, I think Raphael Stone got an absolute steal here, and it just reinforces my love for Raphael Stone. I saw um, Mason Jones, I guess Mason Jones makes a little bit more sense. A PJ Tucker went at um, on John Wall, he's like, free him. I can't remember what P.J. Tucker's was, but it was like a shot at the Houston Rocks. I'm like, dude, fuck off. Honestly, fuck off. Go, like, seriously, that is, the Rockets gave, like, they gave you the most respect. They put you on the championship team. That's all I got to state for that. Hit the like button, hit that sub button. Let's try and hit 600 subscribers by tomorrow. Why not? And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.